Hello everyone! So I am sharing something new here on YouTube. I will be doing a monthly forecast for you every single month. Um, I've drawn three cards from the Healing Mantra deck and this is going to tell you kind of like the vibes for the month ahead. So October for this video, um, there will be some information about love. I pulled a card for love. So anyone who has questions about that area of their life, pay special attention to the second card. And the last one that I picked for you is all about career. So this gives you kind of a taste of, you know, what um, my readings are like. I have these career clarity readings um, that I incorporate energy reading, astrology, a card poll, Akashic records, all that type of stuff. Um, and this is just my first video for the month ahead. I'm traveling a little bit, so I don't have a lot of time, but I did want to at least pull some cards. Um, and so in future months, I might add some energy readings just for the collective, for those who will see these videos, what they should be paying attention to. But for now, I just have some card bowls for you. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. So the first one I have for you is um is hearing inner guidance, okay? So this is going to be the theme for the month ahead in October. And uh, lots of questions, lots of uncertainty, maybe you have to make some tough decisions in your life. Um, and it's really just making sure that you can hear your intuition, um, making sure to have time to sit in silence, to take walks, really ground yourself so that your voice can come through and your intuition always has the right answers but you know asking friends for advice um the, you know the people in your community all these external forces and voices can be very distracting but to go inward um, by meditating doing meditative activities journaling whatever that serves you is going to be super helpful um in just what's ahead for October. Uh, and the message on the back, there's always a message on the back. It says, my intu intuition flows whenever I am still. So really find ways to slow down, um, to do less and just be, okay? Less doing, more being. So this is the message for the month ahead. Okay, card two is all about love. And this card that I pulled is Welcoming Surrender. Um, and the mantra is, there's no problem, only destiny being revealed. So if you're watching this video, um, <laughs> this is for you to release control and to just um, be a little bit more chill um, and to have a little bit more relaxed perspective and also relax like approach to your dating life. Um, if you're dating someone, um, just kind of just noticing like where you are and where you are in the relationship and you know um, where you are with that person and kind of just surrendering to that moment. Maybe it's a really wonderful time and it's it's great for you to be present. Maybe it's a bit bumpy. So just experience the bumpiness. Feel your emotions because that's the only way out is to th be going through it. Um, and if you're dating and you're kind of like frustrated about things, maybe things aren't going your way um, or what you expected or imagined, this card, Welcoming Surrender, is really inviting you to just take a time out for yourself. Just relax. Just know that this is just, you know, this period of time, this energy, and it's not going to be forever. So that's the card for love, Welcoming Surrender. Final card. This is for career, expressing free will. Um, my choices determine how brightly I shine. So a lot of times when you're trying to find a new job or maybe doing a career pivot, uh, you feel kind of trapped um, in the things that you've done before, the people that you know, but know that um, it's up to you to really kind of create the life that you want to live. It's really up to you to be an advocate for yourself. So just because you're getting um, messages in your LinkedIn about this job, that job, maybe your friend is referring you to something doesn't mean that you need to take it. And it's okay to say thank you, but no thank you. Um, and really just following your heart and know that you're always in the driver's seat. I think that people who are looking for jobs right now are kind of feel stuck in their jobs. Um, it, it, there's just a, a sense of 
like immobility, that it has to be a certain way, but it doesn't. And once you're able to expand your mind, expand your thinking, everything around you will shift as well. So really taking an opportunity to reflect on, are you living the way that you want to live? And if you're not, it's okay to change your mind. It's always okay to change your mind. So those are the cards I have for you. They also make a really beautiful color pattern and color scheme and I hope this helps you as you set your intentions for October um, I recommend that you do uh, a meditation you know after this reading that I've shared with you um, and really reflect on kind of like you know what intentions you want to set for the month ahead um, about your love life as well as career okay that's all I have for you today and for October. Stay tuned in November. It's going to be a little bit more robust. I hope you enjoy this and sending you so much love, abundance, and joy. Hope you have a great day.